Hey all you cool cats and kittens, welcome back to Rod's Rundown. Today I'm going to talk about a shot caller that I got for this one right here. Don't let her good looks fool you, she's evil. Stay tuned. And this is Fancy. This is the dog that caused all the problems. I don't know what she is, she's probably part chupacabra and regular canine, but this is the little girl that gave me all the problems in the world. Not to mention that one back there, but at least she don't run out the yard. This one, when she gets into the zone and sees an exit, she is gone like the wind. And that's her main goal in life. Ain't that right, girl? Alright guys, before we continue on with the video, I want to give a quick warning. If you clicked on this video and want to see the device's features, and you actually know how to use this properly, great, and continue to watch. If you have no idea how to use this yet, and you just want to purchase this because you're getting frustrated with your dog's actions, before you understand how to properly use one of these tools, Please stop the video now and go watch an expert's video on how to properly use one of these devices. I recently watched a video of somebody on YouTube that put these on the dog while it was playing with their toys um, and shocked it to show what the device does. That's not how you do it correctly. That's completely wrong. All you're doing is showing the dog that playing with the toys is wrong. Uh, it made no sense to me. So again, please go watch an educational video on how to do this correctly. All right, so here's the Mokins or Mokins, whatever you want to call it, training collar. Thanks, honey. Now, I don't know how to say this name. <laughs> Anyways, so the training collar pretty much comes with the collar itself, the shock pad, I guess you can call it, or training pad. You got the charger, the tester right here to make sure the current's going through. Of course, the uh, remote control. You got these little rubber plugs for the ends that are uh, protective gear for the metal prongs. They give you uh, two sets of metal prongs. Here's ones, the smaller ones, and then I got the bigger ones on right now. Let me go ahead and show you a couple of the features on this thing. Okay guys, so I pretty much got this collar because I saw on their uh, description it was for smaller dogs and you saw Fancy, she's a pretty small dog. I still had to use, yes those are zip ties, I still had to make the collar fit her correctly uh, enough to where the, both these prongs actually touched. This will work for now. So anyways, when you get it you're going to see that uh, both these prongs are going to be off. I took one off and left one on for you. All you do is screw it in. Uh, preferably longer dog hairs are going to have the bigger ones and shorter dog hairs are going to have the smaller ones. For fancy, I went ahead and used the longer one, so I made sure it actually worked. So these are rechargeable, no batteries needed, which is good. Um, they are rainproof, they say. So so real quick, the modes on here is one of them, you have a light button to test to make sure that the collar is connected, which you push it and it goes off. The next one's going to be a sound, which is very important with training. I'll do it again. The next one's going to be vibrate. You push vibrate, and actually I can feel it vibrate. You might not be able to hear it, but I feel it. And the next one, of course, is going to be the shock. This little device right here is actually a, uh, a meter to read that it's actually connecting. So I'll go ahead and test it, and the light should go off. And you see it does. So that way you know you're getting a good connection on both ends. So when you actually watch a video on how to train, the sound effect and vibrate is really important when you're training. Because you want to get them used to one being the cause and effect of another. So if you're walking and you're training your dog and you push the sound button, once you've trained them enough, they're like, okay, I know what's coming next if I don't stop or I keep going. I know I'm going to either feel the vibration or the shock. The whole reason for the vibrating is because you want them to get used to that and say, okay, okay, I don't want the shock. I know what's coming next if I keep doing what I'm doing. So here's the collar on it. Like I said, it is too big, but it serves a purpose for now until I get a different one. So, so I'm going to demonstrate outside real quick on how she uh, acts to it. So here's the whole reason for it. Fancy would get under the gate. Even when we are outside telling her to stop, she'd fly down the driveway and go down the road and would not look back. Now, I will say guys, this is a long time training her, uh, at least a couple weeks, and I'm going to demonstrate what it does. So I'm going to walk past my gate. I'm not going to call her because that's the whole point. I, know, I don't want her to come. Nah, -uh. I'm doing the sound effect. Stay. Good girl. Good girl. Stay. And as you see, she won't go past the gate anymore. All I had to do was sound it one time when she saw me walking. But again, I'm not calling her. I'm not antagonizing her. I'm not trying to bring her over here. And you got to give her a lot of praise because she did exactly what I wanted to do. Good girl. And of course, she gets some cheese. Sadie, spin. Good girl. Oh, fancy intercepted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I'm also a firm believer on if you're going to do it to your dog, you better do it to yourself first to see what you're working with. So I'm not going to put it around my neck for YouTube purposes, but I will put it on my wrist and administer a shock because if she can get it, I can get it. Just to show you it's actually on, I'm going to push the sound. 
it is on that's for sure here's vibrate let me see if you can hear it and here's level one shot yeah that works all right guys thanks for watching another rod rundowns review on the mockins training collar I hope this video helped you guys. And again, please, please, please educate yourself before you put something like that on your dog and don't know what you're doing with it. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Please subscribe. You have a great day. Stay safe.